Hello everyone, this is Gamo Edits and welcome back to another YouTube video. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create engaging and interactive presentations by adding dynamic mouse over effects to your slides. With mouse over animation, you can make your presentation come alive and captivate your audience. By the end of this tutorial, you will have a good understanding of how to use the mouse over animation to create professional and engaging presentations. So let's get started. So I have prepared four icons for this tutorial representing the four elements, earth, water, air, and fire. Each icon also has shape backgrounds for additional design. You can design these shapes by inserting a shape and customize the colors according to your choice. I simply added a rounded corner rectangle shape and placed my icons on top of it. And now to organize our presentation, we will create a slide for each of the four elements in addition to the dashboard slide. So when we hover our mouse over each icon, we will display information on that corresponding element. And to make it easier for you to follow along, I will name each slide after its respective element. For the second slide, we will name it as Earth. For the third slide, we will name it as Air or water. Next is air. And lastly, fire. Now for the main highlight of this tutorial, we will add the mouse over effect. Let's start with the first icon. Select the icon and under the insert tab, look for the action option which is typically represented by a star icon. You will see two options, mouse click and mouse over. We will click the mouse over, hyperlink to, and then select slide. So we can hyperlink this icon to a specific slide. As this is the icon for the earth, select slide 2 which is named as earth. So whenever we hover our mouse over this earth icon, the slide will shift or jump to slide 2. The transition will happen automatically even if we don't click the icon. The shifting of slides will happen as soon as we place the mouse on top of the icon. Now we will apply the same thing for the second icon, which is the water icon. Under the insert tab, we will click that insert tab and click the action button and then mouse over. Hyperlink to, select slide, and since we have the water, we will select the slide number 3. And then we will do it as well for other icons including the air icon, which is under the slide number 4. And lastly, for the fire icon, which is represented under the slide 5. Now that we already set the hyperlinks, let's see the progress so far for this tutorial. So as you notice, once we hover our mouse to that earth icon, it will go to that slide 2. So the question now is how we can go back to the dashboard slide. So the solution to that is to add a rectangular shape that will cover the entire slide and we will send it to the back and customize it according to your preference. So in my case, I will just change the background color to something gradient that is black and grayish. So I will choose this one color and this other color for this grayish gradient effect. Then apply the mouse over effect to the rectangle shape so it will hyperlink back to slide 1. Under the insert tab, we will click the action option, mouse over, hyperlink to, slide, and we will choose the slide 1. So whenever our mouse hovers above the background, which is this black and grayish background, the slide will shift back to the dashboard slide or the first slide. Now let's try to copy this background to the second slide and see if we can shift back to the dashboard slide. And as you can see, it is now working. If we hover to the background, it will go back to our dashboard slide. Now we will copy this to all slides. So each slide has the capability to go back to our original dashboard slide. Now we will copy these four icons and paste them onto each slide so that we can add content information for each element. 
make sure that you have already applied the mouse over effect for each icon on your respective slides so that we won't have to redo it on each slide since we are just going to copy these icons from the dashboard slide. Now going back to the second slide which is for the earth element, we will expand the shape and icons to make them bigger. So I will just change the size of this shape. Just make sure that the larger shape is aligned with the other shapes to make it visually appealing. And then for this icon, I will enlarge this. And then add some information text into it. And I think we can remove this earth marker that we add earlier. And now let's check the progress. As you can see, whenever we hover our mouse over the icon for the earth element, it will shift to that slide. And if we move our mouse to the background, it will go back to the dashboard slide. To make the shifting of the slide smoother, we will apply the morph transition across all slides. And as you can see, it is much better now. But I think I did adjust the duration of the transition to like 1.5 seconds. But it is up to you to customize the timing. But I will change it to 1.5. So let's see the progress and I think this is much better now. All of this is made possible because of the mouse over plus hyperlink feature of the PowerPoint. Just make sure that you have this rectangle background or any background that will lead you back to your dashboard slide. So I hope that by now you have an idea of how this feature actually works. Now we will apply the same process to the other slides. We will make the water shape and icon bigger. So I will just change the size of this shape to like bigger one. And make sure that it is aligned to other shapes. And now we will enlarge this water icon and add text. And now we can remove this text marker and let us now see the result. So let's move our mouse to the earth icon, go back to the dashboard slide, water icon, go back to the earth icon, go to the dashboard slide and that is so perfect. And by now you can see that, that this tutorial is easy to follow since we have a pattern and just continue until you reach the last slide. So for this earth or for the air slide, we will enlarge the shape as well as the image icon and then we will add the text and we will remove this text marker since we don't need it anymore. And let's see the progress again. Earth icon, go back to the dashboard slide, click the air icon. And that is perfect. And now for the last slide, we will remove this marker, enlarge the shape for the fire icon. You can copy these dimensions for you to follow. And then we will enlarge this fire icon as well and add your text. And finally, here is the finished output for this tutorial. With this mouse over feature, you can hyperlink an object or icon to a specific slide and when a viewer hovers their mouse over it, the slide will automatically shift to the designated slide. By using this feature, you can create a seamless flow between slides and keep your audience engaged throughout your presentation. And with that, this is Gamo Edits and thank you for watching.